Hello guys. Welcome back to the aviary. Do you remember the episode when we showed the newly hatched oriental magpie robin chicks? Well, this time, we will show the development of the oriental magpie robin chicks. Without further ado, let's get started. It's the aviary! Two days after the chicks hatched, they were still living in their nests. Meanwhile, the two oriental magpie robin parents are busy looking for food and feeding their young. The male parent finds crickets and gives them to the female parent, and then she feeds the crickets to their young. In addition to the task of looking for crickets, the males also have to guard and supervise their young from the threat of other birds. And he is very alert while on duty. Six days after the oriental magpie robin chicks hatch, their parents are still looking for food for the young while protecting them. But on this sixth day, while they were busy looking for food, a Sumatran laughing thrush suddenly attacked them. On the ninth day, Kong Pio and Bogus decided to check the condition of the oriental magpie robin chicks in their nest. And this is how they are. It turned out that their bodies had grown bigger. Their feathers have also grown. Although, their parent was watching Bogus from a distance. You better get out of here, Goose. Actually, at that time, the female parent laid three eggs. But in the end, only two eggs hatched. That's very unfortunate. On the plus side, oriental magpie robin parents didn't throw their young. Please note, oriental magpie robins sometimes throw their chicks away if they find a human peeking at their chicks. Even if we just want to be nosy to see, oriental magpie robin parents will throw their chicks. Luckily, this oriental magpie robin couple on the aviary doesn't do that. On the eleventh day, an oriental magpie robin cub finally flew out of its nest. Thank God. As you know, it is the first chick to hatch in this aviary. And the chick is growing up healthy too. But this doesn't mean the task of the oriental magpie robin parents is over. The female parent still has to feed her chick. At the same time, the male parent feeds the chick, who is still living in the nest. After the first oriental magpie robin chick left the nest, Kong Pio installed a surveillance camera to monitor the second oriental magpie robin chick, who still didn't dare to leave the nest. On the second day after leaving the nest, the oriental magpie robin child who was busy, now it was sleeping soundly. Maybe it was tired after learning to fly. And after waking up, 
it's time to eat. Of course, the female parent is looking for food because the chicks still can't find food independently. But moments later, the oriental magpie robin chicks were about to be attacked. Sumatran laughing thrush and black-throated laughing thrush gathered on the same tree as the oriental magpie robin family perched. Luckily, the two oriental magpie robin parents protected their young while the cub took cover on the glodok. These two laughing thrusts like to annoy and intimidate the oriental magpie robin chicks. But fortunately, the situation is back under control. Two parents, oriental magpie robins, managed to repel the two nuisance birds. <laughs> Praise be to God. Two oriental magpie robin chicks are growing up healthy. One chick has learned to fly, while the other still lives in the nest. Hopefully, the second chick can get out of the nest and learn to fly as soon as possible. Do you still want to know the next development of these oriental magpie robin chicks? If so, let us know in the comments column. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.